Jed here to demonstrate how to add a new user in GoToAdmin. You'll need to be an admin or super admin to complete this task. It should be noted that only super admins can add new users as admins or members, while admins can only add members. GoToAdmin can be accessed at this site. I've already signed in as the user Lance Bingham, and this is the home page. You may see different icons here, depending on what options are available with your plan. Before moving on, it is essential to note the available product licenses for your account. If you are hoping to add a GoToMeeting license to your new user, for example, you need to make sure that you have one available. Let's add a new user. Click the People icon from the left navigation bar. If you are not there already, click Users. Click the Add User button, which is in the top right corner. Start by selecting the products for the new user. For this video, I'll choose Go to Connect. Before doing so, however, I'll click this expansion arrow. By default, Go to Connect users have phone and meeting privileges. From here, you can decide if you want to only allow for one of those options. I'm going to keep both. Then click the Next button in the bottom right corner. You can now add your new user's full name and email address. Make sure that it is entered correctly or your user will not be able to sign in. Depending on if you've selected specific licenses from the previous screen, you'll see additional fields to complete on this screen. For example, go to Connect Customers must specify a phone extension number. The next available extension link is provided. You can change that to anything you like, as long as it's not a number already in use and the same digit length. Although I won't demonstrate this step, you have the option to upload a CSV file containing the names and email addresses of employees for bulk upload if desired by clicking the Import Users button. After I type in the information for a new user, I could click the Add Another User option to create additional users, but I'll add just one for now. Click the Next button to proceed. Let me talk about some of the different settings you see here. This drop-down list determines the user's product settings. You can select the default settings template, or if you've previously created a custom one, you could choose that here. The account role drop-down list displays the permission level you can give the user. Remember, if you are an admin, you can only assign members, and you must be a super admin to assign admins. This information and the choices from the next two drop-down lists can be changed later if needed. You can now decide if you want to add the new user to a user group. These are utilized by system admins, who can create a single group containing several people and apply a setting to the entire group without applying that manually to individual users. Please view our online resources if you want to learn more about user groups. Like the description beneath the drop-down list reads, this setting defines the welcome message and the user language settings. When you create a new user, a welcome email is sent to the email address you specified for their account. If you have created more than one welcome email, you could select which one to send from the list. If needed, the welcome email can be previewed by clicking this button. Each email will contain a link for the new users to click on so they can create a password for their account. Once that is done, the user will sign in to app.goto.com to begin using the product. Click the Add User button to complete the process. You are now taken to the New Users Profile window. From here you can do things like add a device to a user, manage their user groups, or even change their product licenses if needed. Again, the user will need to sign in for the account to become fully activated. Finally, click the People icon. As an administrator, take note of the status column. If it reads active next to a user's name, they have successfully created a password and signed into their account. That's all there is to add a new user and go to admin.